Hey, welcome to Alman Mission. In this video, I will show how I rig this clock where we have shadows and then I will add another step where we will have ticking movements which will be basically jumping to the steps for the minute and second hands. I have shadow bones containing the texture for minute and second. They are a little bit offset. They are constrained to their hands correspondingly and that's it. These are the constraints from 0 100 just mapping perfectly same for the minute hand so with that we get this rotation for the shadows which will be offset it nothing fancy the motor starts move the second hand we transfer from second hand to the minute hand note that the transfer happens with a 90 degree offset because the second hand is already rotated 90 degree so this way we allow a spine to understand that this is our zero for the minute hand. And then we have the target range from zero to six because this step is just basically six degrees. Then make sure to mark additive. Otherwise, if your um, hands are off the zero, they will jump to that position. It's visible with a motor to second hand constraint. If I turn off the additive, the second hand will jump to the zero rotation. Let's move it back. Also with additive, you are able to still rotate the hand while having the constraint. And lastly, we have minute hand to hour end, which will be again from 90 degree offset, additive turned on, but zero to 30. Because basically with this range, we have uh, five, six degrees, which will be 30 degrees. So if you stick to the end of the video, you will learn how to add the tick movement to your rig. And then at the end, I will show you how to rig a leg that can move endlessly however you move it using latest transform constraints. First, I'm going to start with animating the second hand. Let's activate that animation. Select this bone key and at six frames, I will set it to Six. So what I want is to move the opposite way the same amount as I'm rotating. So it's basically stops, waits until six degrees past and then snaps to that frame. We need to create a slider constraint. I'm going to select the second hand root. Right away, our second hand jumped almost six degrees left. What happened is our second hand root had already 90 degrees rotation which converted here 0 to 90 to 0 to 6 and we had 5 4 degrees rotation which is basically this if i try to rotate this bone nothing will happen this is not what we expected to make sure that the animation plays every time we pass the 6 degrees we need to actually turn on the looping here now if i rotate you should see this kind of weird snap every 100 degrees here we don't need that 100 degrees we need perfect matching so let's go back set it to six we're almost there see there is kind of snapping every second but weird snap it's kind of we need the reverse thing so either we can set it to minus six here or we just come here and animate it reversely, just changing the frames. I'm going to set it to minus six here. See right away it snapped back because right now the value is uh, aligned with the zero frame and not the end frame. Let's rotate. Perfect. To add a little bit bouncing to the second hand. We can alter the timeline. Let's key on the fourth frame. To fix this speed on fifth frame we need to consider that the arrow the second hand is already on the location so since we don't want actually the second hand to do uh, add up to the motor and it is basically decorative it means that second hand is still continuing to be on the 12th mark it just goes back a little bit to 
compensate motor movement and then when the motor reaches this step it should release and snap back to its original place so this is where we already consider that it's reached 12 let's create a little bit overshoot and on six frame we basically should set it to zero so what we gained from zero to six rotation is this zero to four range so starting from zero to four it will compensate and then at the last it will just release and snap to its original place let's try that beautiful let's do the same for the minute hand 0 to 6 and that's gonna be it let's just create minute slider set a minute hand root set 6 to minus 6 let's set to loop and see what we have beautiful okay before i finish this i want to check and rotate the motor mm, nothing is working we need to try to reset constraints let's sort it and it works beautifully so this is where we should see minute hand also snap perfect our hand is working as well fantastic and another moment that you can notice that the leg is actually stopping at some point and then moving stopping moving this is achieved by these three bones there is one bone that is rotating and the other bones will just repeat that rotation with clamping so they will just uh, do that rotation only half of the circle you can see those clampings here indicated with spine ui when you move this bone let's say x it adds up to this movement of this bone the tip of the leg x at half cycle we will have zero and then another half it will add up and it will move twice the speed so for half cycle it just prevents that from moving another half cycle it moves twice the speed if I move uh, one square, it will move uh, two squares here. And then stop. Then again, move two squares. Before you jump in and try to experiment, this is not something you would practically use. Clearly, you could go and use a slider animation and animate one simple leg movement and then bind that animation to this bone and whenever you move it will play that leg animation all this is for the sake of the experimentations and understanding the limits of the recent updates thank you very much see you in the next video bye